Greetings. So I have never had the IKEA Swedish meatball, but today I'm going to do it. All right, let's do this. Okay, here we go. We have the meatballs. I chose mashed potatoes as my side as opposed to french fries or rice. Um, apparently there's a rumor that Swedish meatballs from Ikea are made of horse meat. I'm not really sure if that's true. I've never had horse meat, so if it is, I wouldn't be able to tell you. But I'm still gonna try. Let's dig in. All right, let's dig into the meatball. Well, it tastes like a meatball. I don't think, um, I don't taste any horse. But then again, I don't know what horse tastes like, so maybe, maybe the horse is the magic of this meatball. But it seems like it's pretty standard meatball. Um, I got a little gravy, or maybe it's horse gravy, I don't know. The mashed potatoes are very, very yellow. Um, I'm assuming that means they're loaded with butter. Uh, the woman asked if I wanted vegetables with this, uh, and I said no. And she looked very disappointed in me. But that's life. Let's try the mashed potatoes. Oh yeah. There's a lot of there's a lot of butter going on. I would say this is like 80% butter, 20% mashed potato. Or 19% mashed potato and 1% horse, just for the hell of it. Because why not? Let's try another um, another meatball one more time. Um You know, it tastes like a meatball. I don't think I don't think it's anything to get too excited about. But um, yeah, it, it does the job. You know, I, I waited uh, my entire life to have a, a meatball from IKEA. I'm not sure if it was worth the wait, but that's okay. So there you have it, horse or no horse. It's not too bad. Cheers. It's been real IKEA. You're an amazing store. But your meatballs, not so much.